when they announced it, I just went into shock, I'll be deadly honest, because I, I've got, I can't not work, I need to be working. Luckily, I was contacted by the uh, local News to Nilstown community group and asked could I assist them in their food bank, so that's what we went and did. So the fact that the pub had freezers and fridges and space was fantastic for us because we had a lot of stock that we needed to store and so that was the reason uh, it was a perfect setup. Uh, we worked about 150 families a week um, delivering parcels, all sorts of different sizes from people living on their own, older people who couldn't get out, to families with nine children. So during the project we delivered over 12 tonnes of food for free to people which equated to 48,000 meals. Early on in lockdown we realised the children were going to miss out on all the Easter activities at school. So we spoke to local supermarkets uh, and other wholesalers and we got together two and a half thousand Easter eggs. We had um, over a hundred volunteers come and assist with that as well. So that was quite an emotional moment when we seen how many people were outside wanting to help. So it gave us a little bit of hope that there was more people going to get involved in helping the community. So it was lovely. We managed to secure enough Easter eggs so that every primary school aged child in Newton the Willows was able to have an Easter egg delivered on Easter Monday. We had a few messages, I had a few messages directly to me from families who said they wouldn't have had an Easter egg if it wasn't for the ones they got from us, uh, which obviously that means a lot. We knew that people were still not working, people were still on furlough and um, you know, people were going to struggle to probably go and purchase uniforms. So we put an appeal out and we've had something like three tonnes of school uniform that's been delivered, dropped off here at the Vic and at other businesses in town. And so far we've delivered probably two and a half thousand pounds worth of free uniform to people and have loads more in stock for when restrictions ease a bit more and we can get that back out to people who need it in schools. Yeah, so VE Day was another big event. We'd obviously had a lot planned. It was the 75th anniversary of uh, VE Day. And as a council and as a community, we had to cancel a lot of the events we had going on. We came up with the idea of having a, a scarecrow trail around town. It was just as the children had been sent home from school, so lots of families were looking for things to do. We had about over 700 scarecrows that were made across town. We plotted out on a map where they all were, and it just covered the whole town. So Johnny uh, was crowned as the, the main judge in the scarecrow competition. So he judged the competition, he even donated prizes out of his own pocket for runners up because he struggled to pick the best ones. We live in, in a really nice town, but there is lots of deprivation. And when you see beneath the surface of, of, of a nice town, you see that there's lots of people who need help and being able to do that was, was really important to us all. The Victoria Pub in Newton Willows is based at the heart of the community. It's a family pub. It was the perfect partner because it shares the same values as the community group. And so we can't thank CAF, the pub and the brewery enough for what they've done to support the project. If you've got the time and you've got the space, why not want to, you know, you're not promised tomorrow. In a world you can be anything, be kind. And that is it, that's how I am. And I think these guys, and we've worked together so well, like, and I think, you know, we all want the best for each other. Nice, that's what we should be doing anyway, you know, and I think it's proven to everybody. We're a small town, but we have got each other's backs and we'll do what we can to help one another.